Welcome back, guys. We are getting ready to get things going. I am updating. Uh, well, I shouldn't say welcome back to you. You've been here. <laughs> welcome me back. Me and Tyler are back. We are now here again. <laughs> we are here again, and this is Dream Team vs. Denial in the finals of two days. You know. I gotta be pulling for Dream Team on this one, mainly because Denial just business as usual running through teams and getting through this bracket to the finals yet again yes. just like last week's qualifiers doing work and winning those as well so it's, i'm gonna be gonna be excited to see if dream team can pull off the magic here and we're going back to back gridlocks here it looks like oh we're gonna be God, starting more gridlock yeah i'm excited to see that too because we just saw a pretty dominating game a pretty dominating map by dream team uh, uh against mutiny on there I'm wondering how many of those strats that you saw from them uh, are going to take effect here against Denial. Denial yeah, is exactly. so sick, though, with all their different strategies. They don't have just a plan A. They don't just have a plan B. They have right. a C all through Z. So you got to be ready for anything that's coming your way. Denial, uh, undisputed uh, kings of this game right now, honestly. They're, I think they're that's just easy really to say. skilled. Um, but I'm excited to see uh, what's going to go down here. They've been, they've been proven that they're the team in these, uh, in these qualifiers, but... Uh, highest level of Gears of War uh, this week. I'm excited. A month and a half away, guys, roughly, <laughs> for uh, this MLG Columbus. Yep. Uh, starting to get pumped up a little bit here as we are starting with the finals of Dream Team vs. Denial. Let's go. Here's a sneak peek of the action, but it's not ready yet as you're still here with Tyler and Rob, Immortal Super Trooper, casting you the finals of today's MLG qualifier. And we're going to start things off Let's right now on Gridlock. And Kenny Bounce, newest member of Denial, started playing with them uh, right after ESL Season 2. Actually, a little bit before, as they were practicing with him before yeah. that. Uh, but we won't get into uh, that drama right now. As they're flooding up to tower, uh, starting to roll back here. As they already just secured Sniper, so Kenny's starting to rotate, trying to get get in position to stop this boom shot uh, from from leaving the area quickly. Dream Team was able to acquire both sets of explosives there. Boomshot, aka Rocket Launcher, and the grenades. Uh, looks like Kenny getting aggressive, making a push, and already causing the boom to miss one, and getting a wall bounce on Kyle, and the boom was on his back. That is a complete waste of Boomshot there. Uh, but it looks like he is backed up on the truck and making another move here, but wasn't able to kill the Spencer who gets him with a headshot. And then Demo takes his teammate out with a nade that he did not have to throw. That Absolutely is a Absolutely didn't have to throw it, but... Uh... Yeah, as Kenny Kenny was able to pursue. What I love about Kenny is his aggression, his just raw aggression, able to get in your face right away. Made sure mm. that, that Boomshot couldn't make any oh plays. Demo with two, God, Demo. two kills on his team with the frags. Uh, not going to be able to clutch up here as, as that is quite distracting for everybody uh, in his ear right now. But Dream Team's got to just let that one I go. I still have my hands on my face. <laughs> Demo gonna pull off his shirt at the end of this game and reveal a denial jersey because he takes out two of his teammates on that one with nades, just poorly placed nades. That is a heartbreaker right there. They're, he's gonna have to either give those to somebody else on this next round or just be a little bit more cautious there as uh, maybe got a little bit too excited trying to uh, take out those members of denial. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, warm up your frags a little bit and here or there you're gonna take out both teammates. I mean, what are you gonna do? Here we go, Demo. Trying to get loose a little bit as he's moving up on, on this boom wall. Uh, looking for an angle as Denial does have frags. Here comes one. Flushing Demo out. Demo going to roll back. And boom shot picked up by Denial. Going to flip over to that. Lava up in tower. Starting to shoot down. Here comes one boom. Not able to connect with that one. As we saw the scopes in the distance from Dream Team. Setting up for a little bit of a stalemate here. And Lava with an interesting angle here. The spectator not even able to catch where he's aiming. That's how sleek his, aim, his aim, aiming angles are. He was able to get, get something seen there that we couldn't even get our naked eyes on. Explosives getting his own angle. Jay Kenny there we got now. Holding that boom. Holding that last shot. And Kenny's going to want to uh, put more shots there, but it looks like Kyle getting the push on Lava, and Demo Bounce taking out explosives. The long-distance headshot. That was insanely long. And headshot. getting the back-to-back -back headshots, just killing it, doing work there. One-on-four -on -four situation, Kenny Bounce goes down, and it looks like Dream Team now going to uh, going to take this round as well. Yeah, we saw Kyle draw first blood there, and Demo able to pick up uh, the two shotgun kills there as they had the team focus. So 
I don't know. It looked like Denial, you know, was in a decent position to to combat that round. But Dream Team's gonna go up one to one on Gridlock. I'm happy, re really, for Demo on that round. He he had a, a pretty yeah. rough first round there, uh, as you saw with those nades. Comes back, gets two back to back headshots with that shotgun, and really stamps that second round there, tying this game down at one to one on the first map. Here come the smokes and Red Icy moving up by himself the tower, causing a bit of a distraction. I like the smokes here to uh, sort of uh, hide what the strategy actually is at a Dream Team. Uh, but Denial able to pick up Boom, and here comes Explosives backing out, uh, pushing through middle with it. Here comes Juan trying to down them before Ooh. they leave with Tower, able to get some damage. One player is still trapped up here as he's set up to launch another rocket, is but he's going to risk needed. it. It's a 4v3 situation. He Can doesn't he? have to risk it, it seems, no, now that they have the advantage, it. so he decided to back off there. Yeah, we're going to flip over to Red Icy, who has the sniper. Uh, his team is down in this 3v4 situation. He Ooh. needs to come through here with a headshot as there's still one more boom left. Uh, Beautiful the smoke there. Side. Able to completely blind him and now making him able to have to uh, isolate around. Now, now they're throwing a nade. That was beautiful. They completely confused him there. And Denial with that nade taking out Red Icy. Kyle was able to take out Kenny. Mental taking out Kyle. And now a 103 dispensa. Uh, potentially the worst spot you could be on this map right now. It doesn't get much worse than this. Especially against a oh. boom trying to make a play. But gets shut down by Mental. Uh, great round out of Denial. Coming up 2-1 to one here. You know, I can't say that anything was going to happen there, but you saw wall bounce right there, sidestep that, oh, that boom shot. He had a shot had there, a chance. but he wasn't able to get the first pop off. Gets taken out, and now we have Dr Denial there with a 2-1 lead. You know, anything can happen, especially with team kills. Never give up in that situation. I mean, he could have just juked a little bit, made them shoot that rocket, kill the whole squad. You honestly never know, so do not give up in those situations. As we got Demo Bounce moving up with a pistol here in tower. It's all smoked out. Nobody's grabbed Sniper yet. Dispensa grabbing it down over at Boom Wall. And Kyle uh, looking for an opportunity to go clean up this kill. As he does go for it, looking for the double here. As he's going to roll out, create space. And they got this guy trapped, but he's able oh. to pick up one. Kenny bouncing through the Boom Tunnel, grabbing one kill. Oh. Kenny coming back for the second. Kyle shuts it down. Red Icy looking to stop this player who's picked up the long shot, switching to his shotgun. Red Icy needs to finish there, and they down each other. Red Icy and Mental oh, down each other in tower. And Demo Bounce coming up to clean up the round. Dream that, Team you pulling know, that one out. That was interesting because... You, you saw Dream Team there. You saw them hesitate. They didn't want to go right away for that kill. It seemed like an easy kill there uh, at the boom, but they waited for it. And once they made the push, you saw his backup teammate come in there, pop out of nowhere. And uh, that was Kenny, who made a lot happen there. Uh, unfortunately, got taken out, and uh, they couldn't pull off the round. Yeah, was, we're heading into round five here. Demo bounce uh, moving up through the middle. Uh, trying to get a quick flank on the boom on the boom wall. As he's got his pistol out, he has been spotted, but he may be able to get this down. He's going to have to retreat back, and, and it looks like they did get away with Boom. So good distraction through the middle of the map as Kyle getting very aggressive with these Boom, trying to get them before they set up, connecting with Kenny with the first Boom, and they did fall back. So we have a 4v3, and they are, they are setting up uh, on their side. Kyle able to connect again, so putting good use with those Boom shots. Explosive now going to hold his ground up in this tower, one on four. Like we said, one of the worst spots to be in, especially if he goes to where that hammer responds. Uh, he's taking a weird shot here, a bird shot view on the uh, on the wall. And now going to be running back to that hammer burst for his last stand possible here. One on four. I don't think they have the boom. But once he picks it up, he, he's going to have to make a push immediately. Uh, it doesn't look like they have any explosives here. Uh, well, actually, they just picked up Nade, so he has got to make a push right now. Uh, things are not looking good. Not looking good as all as explosive is just that. Gone in this round, and we are heading in uh, to round six here. Going up 3-2. Dream Team coming out strong. Kyle uh, leading, and him and Demo both with seven kills apiece. Uh, Red Icy uh, still doing fine there. Not really struggling. He's got the damage points there. Just hasn't been playing more of a support role so far on this map. Yeah, definitely. He's, he's picked up the, the sniper every chance that they had. Uh, obviously, no big headshots yet for his team. But he's doing uh, his best job here, putting in the support, uh, keeping that long range, uh, uh, shooting all those crosses, and just making sure that Denial is staying in check. I think we're seeing a boom, a boom slash mid push out of Denial. They're able to get both, ex uh, both power weapons there on that side of the map. But Demo shutting down Explosive as we're trying to get over here. Kenny pushed back onto the van. Boom shot was picked up, uh, but he may have died. I'm not sure exactly where it is, trying to locate it right now. And here's Red Icy uh, with the sticks, got, got very safe positioning. Dream Team does not want to lose hold of this round. They're up 4-3, to three. I'm about to take the first map here.
Yeah, and I'm trying to also figure out where that boom went as well. Uh, somebody might have had it on their back uh, when they died. Uh, that, that one member of Denial that went down there uh, could have been possible. Uh, if he was smart, he would put it on his back, take out his shotgun, uh, so that when he died, he didn't drop the weapon and allow his opponents to scoop that up. And now Mental trying to take some interesting angles here, just trying to annoy Red Icy, who looked to be about two or three pointed there, uh, just enough to make him miss his sniper shot. Yeah, 4v3 situation here in favor of Dream Team. Uh, probably about a minute left. We're going to see uh, both grenades, snipe, and boom shot uh, all respawn on the map. Uh, so, I mean, how do you how do you anticipate this playing out right now? Should should uh, Dream Team make any plays, or should they just sort of wait until the next power weapon spawn? Well, they have the advantage here. The best thing they can do is hold their ground. I do love aggressive plays. I do love it when you see people making moves and just trying to shock the other team. But in this situation, you're up 3-2. to two. you got to hold it down, and you don't want to get too, too aggressive here. Yeah, we saw a little bit of a push up the stairs by Dream Team. They're just trying to get ahead to appear. And here he goes, looking oh, to connect. Icy oh missing the still shot as uh, Denial able to pick up a snipe of their own. We're going to hop over to Mental and see if he can, uh, if he can match something. Mental like is so dangerous with the rifle. That was their one chance to silence him, no problem, and really blow this round open with a four on two situation. He missing the standstill. I don't even think Mental knew he was getting uh, looked at when he picked that up. So that was insane that he has a second chance at life here. It's possible Mental missed the slide there. I don't know if he was looking to make something happen in that corner. But nonetheless, uh, the most dangerous player with oh. it. Lava picking up a great sneaky nade kill. And now it's 3-3 three to three with uh, in favor of, of Denial. They got both Boomshot and Sniper. You know, and it also comes down to... Every time somebody's picking up a weapon, no matter what kind of power weapon, I'm going to assume that if you know how to slide, you'll try it every single time. That time, like you said, Mental might have missed the slide. And who knows, Icy overly anticipating the slide, throwing off right. his concentration just for enough time, just a millisecond even, enough time to make him miss that shot. Uh, kind of a reverse psychology thing, even if Mental did not sure. try and make it go down. With Lava getting that sneaky grenade... Making this three on three, we might just definitely see a stalemate here, uh, keeping denial on their toes as well as Dream Team. Uh, I don't know who's going to try to make this push here. Can he bounce with the boom? I got another frag. Two frags going out. They got to make something happen here. Oh wow! Uh, go commando at least with these explosives. Oh, oh traded it off. Oh, <laughs> uh, so icy able to take out lava. Mental taking icy. So we still have Kenny pushing up with a boom shot. Two v two situation. They're backed off. Demo hiding back here. I'm not sure if they're exactly where. Now his location has definitely been. Uh, made obvious. Kyle has vision on the scopes. They're going to try and shut this round down. They do have a boom. We'll see how this plays out. 15 seconds left on the clock. Mental uh, just sort of guarding this area of the map. See if he can take the 1v. As Kenny says, hey, I might get this kill. I got a boom. See if you can handle that. I'll play it safe. Launches a desperation rocket. Two seconds left. This is going to be a draw. So you suggested that did mental like next level not slide? Is that a possibility? I don't know if he got into the head of his opponent and said screw it, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that he, no, he, he most likely tried that slide and couldn't pull it off. Sure. But it ended up just distracting Red Icy enough. Some of those people that pick up the sniper, doesn't matter who it is, you can really overthink those shots sometimes because even uh, maybe wasn't able to see on the spectator mode. You can even rotate your character when you pick up a weapon sometimes. Yep. Just, just off-centering your head. Right, right. Just enough to put, put off their aim. And now, nice push anyway, there. The style backslide. Get He's got it. some good angles here with the boom. And it looks like the opposition is flooding uh, through their side. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're trading uh, positions on the map here. Kyle all the way across. Kenny getting it down with the boom on, on Icy. Icy struggling there. Uh, down but not out as he has the long shot. Are they going to be able to clean this up? Nope, oh. there's a frag to... Finish it off. Good job by Denial. Uh, so they denied uh, uh, power weapon control at all uh, from Dream Team. They are struggling here with, with nothing but uh, Lancers and Nashers. Yeah, they didn't pick the best spot here. It looks like two of them are backed up at the last pillar there next to spawn. One of them uh, looks like they are uh, slocked down there by themselves. Uh, Demo's teammate left him there. And there he is right there. They're pushing him as well. They're shooting him at the top of the stairs. He might be four-pointed. He's going to have to back up in this 4 on 2 And down he goes. That's the Spencer at the hands of explosives. One more man left. And he is not in a good spot here. Nowhere to wall bounce. Stuck in the open level there. And Denial taking this now. Bumping it up with their third win. And we are going to match point. We're going to round seven right now. This uh, is going to be awesome. Round seven, guys. First map of the finals. Retweet the stream. 
Uh, it, the last tweet that I had posted, guys, we're going to be here for this whole match on board with... Uh, we'll stay on board with Kenny, see how see how they're playing things out here uh, in this first first map. He's heading over to Boom Shot with the smoke grenade out. He had that style slide we saw, grabbing off that boom, retreating back quickly. Let's see if he can contest this here. Again, two members uh, of Dream Team contesting him on the boom. He's going to move up as they're making a play. Oh. He's looking for the quick kill. Is he going to be able to grab something here? No, Kyle ah. shuts it down. Great job rolling back, able to grab that kill. 4v3, now in favor of Dream Team with the boom. A very impressive shot by Kyle in the smoke, not even taking out his teammate, which is what I was afraid of there. Yeah, but he was able to take out the push there by by Kenny, and now they're stuck in the 4-on-3 situation, uh, as is Denial. So it's going to be tough here. Mental, though, taking a weird spot. He's got that sniper, but he puts it on his back to fight off uh, another member there of Dream Team. Explosives went down as well, so the 4-on-2 is here. Mental backing up into the hammer burst here, and he's stuck. Demo bounce going down at the hands of Lava, and oh, Mental getting the down on Icy, but he gets two-piece down by <laughs> Dispensa. Good old-fashioned two-piece there. Now the two-on-one situation. Lava has his back to the wall. What do you think Lava's going to have to do here? Lava's going to have to keep his eye on the clock and see. Uh, it looks like... Uh, Dream Team's going to be setting up for that next boom. Um, actually, they're going to start moving up oh, on Lava, trying hurt. to isolate him a little bit here. So we are going to see power weapons in about 40 seconds or so. Uh, but, you know, Lava holding down tower. I think he's just going to have to wait and see if he can weaken one of these guys oh, full man, enough going to try and pick up. On. He's in a very bad spot. Kyle able to get the down, wins the pistol fight. And that is it. Dream Team taking the first map on Gridlock. Very, very amazing by them. That was something I did not expect. They coming out for a round seven, pulling that off. Lava took a pretty ambitious angle there. He just went straight on with the pistol. Ends up getting four point, and before he could even recuperate, his teammate came over, and they both uh, they both were able to uh, to double down on him. That was amazing. No, Lava actually could have, you know, if he got landed some active reload pistol headshots, able to get that quick down, recoup his uh, health, and you know, sort of focus on the other guy. Yep. But just didn't happen that way. Uh, Dream Team coming out strong. Uh, that was a very exciting first map, guys. Mortal Spawn here with Super Trooper Tyler. Um, which What's the favorite name that you like to go by? Tyler, Shuman, Tyler, Trooper. Super Trooper. 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 Straight up is all good with me. Cool. <laughs> Super Trooper TV on YouTube, guys. Check out his daily content. Very uh, A lot of Gears of War, a lot of comedy sketches. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did, did try all different kinds of games. I try to try to mix it up. But, uh, yeah, I had a lot of Gears videos. Even yep. uh, I've had so many YouTube channels and... So many of them getting taken down from copyright because before I even played Gears, I had I had one and then made one for Gears and still got all of my old montages on YouTube, which which are uh, uh, al the best. always always gonna check in with from time to time. <laughs> Listen to some Chevelle. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, the, the the old montages. Uh, I had one with Muse that was really exciting. Yeah, I liked uh, that was a popular one. That's awesome. Um, the, there were some songs we just saw on a ton of montages back. In the early 2000s, just like it's how I got that. into a lot of yeah. alternative music and heavy, sure, yeah. heavy metal and stuff like that. It was it was pretty pretty intense. Good news is we're staying on this host, guys. We're going on my favorite map, Clock Tower. Uh, this is going to be very exciting. I haven't seen it in the semifinals, really. Uh, wow. So, uh, guys, unfamiliar with Clock Tower at all? A little bit. Uh, here's a quick overlay, and we are going to be seeing most of the fights happen upstairs where the long shot is. Um, but hey, maybe see a little bit of uh, trick strats coming down low. Uh, usually we'll see a 2-2 trying to grab frag grenades, make something happen up top. Uh, we don't see a lot of the long shot get picked up on this map, uh, but the, the fight really does happen up top based on vision, based on uh, map control, just awareness, able to see a lot of the things. It's, it's just a valuable asset in Gears of War beyond, beyond power weapons. It's just vision and just the sense of knowing information. So that's what top does on this map. So here we go. You see 90% of the fights happen on the top wall up there, all in host spot, uh, in host pocket. And you'll usually see, uh, for a majority of teams, two guys on that wall. Sometimes you'll even see them overpower other squads with three. Uh, right now it looks like there's two for each. Explosive back pillar, a pretty textbook strategy by most teams that work really well. But now you see somebody in the long hallway there trying to get the better angle. The smokes really helped. Dispensa now was able to take out Mental for first blood here. Yeah, Dispensa getting a uh, probably pistol headshot or shoddy over there. Uh, pistol very popular uh, choice of weapon when you're on this wall. Being able to get the headshot is just the difference in this game. So really awesome. Dispensa and his teammates looking to surround and grab this kill up top. Uh, Dream Team in, in a very unfortunate situation here. Is there a man down? Last member is down. Uh, Lava is going to get taken out there. 
And Dream Team coming out strong, winning uh, winning another round, uh, keeping their momentum. Still rolling off the momentum from that last map. That was awesome. Taking this first round. And not sure there, we weren't on, uh, uh, on uh, Lava's camera there when he picked up that headshot. Like you said, it could have been Pistol, could have been Nasher. Right. Uh, even if it was Pistol, he has one of the fastest pistols out there. And if you really want to know how to shoot that as fast as possible, don't pull that trigger down all the way. Make sure you're pulling it down halfway when you're shooting it. That way you can shoot it as fast as possible. Almost as if you're like f just barely flicking your finger over the, over the trigger to really, really have it effective and pull out all the stops. Icy now pulling out his own headshot, most likely there with a the pistol now. We have uh, all that action going down on the wall, but... Uh, potentially Dream Team here is going to get the best of Denial up top here. Kenny now has to back off as he's four-pointed. Uh, what, what do you think they're going to have to do here as they're all yeah, backed 43 up? 43 situation. Sniper does get picked up. So now that they got the long shot, uh, Dream Team is, is going to be rotating, and they're going to try and uh, secure boom shot. Mental uh, getting the head start here as he can grab frags, trying to make something happen, let them, you know, let them have something to get them out of this situation. Uh, Demo keeping the long shot up top, so... I don't know. They have, you know, they have the assets to rotate and pick up uh, the boom a little bit with the long shot, but it does. Oh, Kyle, make it miserable! Explosive punishing for that. Let's see if he's moving up for the kill. He is. He is contesting Kyle. Kyle going down a second time. The third revive wow. coming. Kenny getting the Lancer kill there. As now the fight is all congregating up top. Mental connecting with that frag grenade, and now we're in a three v two. Dispensa getting the down, moving up quickly for the kill. Oh. Not able to connect with it. Now it's getting tense here. Kenny Bounce looking uh, in this one on three. He's got two of his teammates here to try and corner Red Icy. Red Icy's got to make the push on that isolation attempt, but it doesn't matter. They get back to him. He's able to get it down, though. He's damaged, Ooh. and Mental gets him hello at the back pillar. Yeah. He wasn't able to make it happen there. That nice time. try by Red Icy using the cover. He recognized, hey, I'm in a 3v1. I got to just dance. I got to do me right now. He was able to get that first down. If he got that up A... Uh, on mental on that corner, uh, he would have actually had a fighting chance. Nice try uh, by Icy. So just a moment too slow there. And like I said, when you're in a one on three, one on four, even a one on two, shotgun battles in those tight corridors are really beneficial oh. for you to stay alive. And that's what he tried to pull off there. Lava getting shot right in his back, almost not able to get the cover there before he gets down. And now you mental get getting creative, throwing those frags up top, but doesn't look like he was able to get a kill. Uh, looks like it forced Dispenser to move up There's forward. There's a boom shot pick. Let's see uh, if Dream Team can try and push for the 4v3. They have a man advantage until that boom gets back. So they might try and do something. Dispenser still holding his ground. And here comes the focus fire. As they're going to be chain reviving, but getting down. Dispenser again putting an amazing Lancer file. Kyle and his teammate pushing back pillar. Dominating there. As we know, Lava has the boom shot. And he's able to get one kill uh, over at boom. So 2v3. Uh, with with a boom shot here, and, and we're on board with lava. And it looks like uh, looks like those three members there of Dream Team are up top. Uh, one now just picking up that rifle. Uh, looks like they're stuck in the opposite side of jail here. Mental uh, was getting taken out there by Dispensa and Lava just with the suicide kill there, trying not to take himself out. But there wasn't much he could do there on that push. Yeah, I didn't catch somebody was uh, putting pressure with shotgun shots around around the jail there, but they were both very weak, so. Forcing the suicide was definitely the right play. Um, and, you know, they went for the trick shot, getting that boom shot, which they did. But, uh, unfortunately, you know, taking a, you, you get taken out of the match when you do that. So, the yeah. heads up play from the opposition is going to be the push and trying to get a kill. Yeah, that's the one thing about the boom. It's so far off from the main part of the map that you really have to be clear when you go for it. You, like you said, you're taking yourself out of the play, out, out of out of the map so, so long. Just that 15 seconds or so to pick it up is a long, long time. We have Demo taking down Lava, Dispensa taking out Metal. There is a lot of downs here. Explosive was able to take out Bounce. And now we got Dispensa with a headshot on Lava, but he gets a headshot right back from the hands of Denial wow. Explosive. Who gets the double on Demo? Icy was taking out Denial there, and Kyle with the cleanup on the final two kills. Explosive went huge right there, pushing through and getting the double, but uh, it's going to be Dream Team again, going up 3-1 on Clock Tower, holding it down. We had a, a 4v4 match up top, and, and Dream Team again coming out on top. This is not something I expected to see here. We're seeing Denial actually stuck with their backs against the wall yeah, for once. they're struggling right they're, now. Exactly. Struggling is definitely the word right now because you have Dream Team rolling on all cylinders. And w w this round really, really, really is important because if Denial is not able to pull this one, 
uh, this round off. Yeah. They're going to be stuck in a really, really rough spot Lava going into this third match. Early kill there on the headshot. Explosive getting the team kill on Lava. So now we're still in a 3v3. But it's been Dispensa just making great uh, host spot plays. He's really been just putting in uh, serious work up there. Icy down low uh, in a 1v1 situation trying to position himself. Now if he falls back and grabs this, uh, the other team may flank and it might... Uh, might not work out well uh, for his teammates, but what I like to see here is Denial, all three of them together, making sure that they're not going to get caught off. Yeah, and it looked like, oh, it looks like there was a one-on-one -on -one down low. Mental was able to take out the Spensa, <laughs> and they firing back, especially after the initial, uh, oh, the initial wow. push up top. Kenny now taking out IC after, uh, after helping with the revive there. Uh, after that initial push up top where it was a team kill, and now Denial with the 3-1 situation, fighting in jail, taking down Kyle, and they were able to bounce back from that mistake in the early going of that round. Yeah, Denial showing life here on Clock Tower. Looked like they were they were rolling well together, uh, able to get the chain revives. That's the thing. I mean, when you're that close and, and, and you have the, the ability to fight 2v1s and just get those timely revives, oh, yeah. uh, it's, just, it's just, you know, getting it's going to be the difference in that match, so... I'm interested to see. Looks like they have somebody going down low. Yep, here comes a nade strat. Uh, Mental going to be doing the support. See if he can take the opposing side tree. Ops the backs up. He has been spotted, but they are going to secure nades. Uh, so what they need to do is uh, just buy some time, let his team rotate. Now, did they trade a uh, long shot in this? No, it's still up. They're going for it now. So there's the exchange, guys. Beautiful we slide. often see uh, one team grabs frags. The other times, hey, we have enough time. Grab the long shot, but oh, there's the frag. Man. Coming out of Lava, getting two frag kills and the down. Wow. Lava going huge this round. Now a 3v1 situation. That was insanity. Down. He was able to take out the sniper there even after that beautiful slide. And just like that, we're going to another map point here. Round number seven. Can't ask for... Back to back to round seven in this finals today. Can't ask for anything more than that. Uh, yeah, you're showing the apex of competitive gears right now. This is what it's all about here. These two teams so evenly matched, running through the rest of the bracket and showing that they were meant to be here. Neck and neck here, getting the best of each other. Two dominant teams here. Uh, Lava wow. going for that push, yeah, throwing the smoke. He's trying to be a little aggressive, and that was a beautiful smoke, able to uh, to block off the uh, eyesight there. Out of Mental, looking to connect as that player is in the corner. He's oh! able to grab Icy with it. Great job by Mental, recognizing him there, and that's going to put a huge advantage uh, in in their favor. Because they, did he get away with the boom? Looking for Lava, he is escalating the stairs wow. now with the boom shot. Wow, <laughs> narrowly misses the headshot. Very close. That was that was pretty that was insane that he was looking at that wall before he even made it there waiting for that swat turn and missed it by a hair and now Kyle with a very strange uh, spot yeah. here going all the way into spawn he's looking for that top pillar shot now the advantage that no way no way oh, oh. gives himself away he can't nail it let's see if he's gonna be able to hang there any longer and maybe try one more shot at that that was an amazing he's looking for something fun. else nice absolutely nice try the advantage that you have with with the other team all being alive, is that they can't ghost cam or they they can't uh, security cam or whatever. So they just yep. don't know that information. So Kyle, you know, using that to his advantage, almost even up the score here. Nice try. So creative there by Kyle, taking it all the way to spawn up those stairs that almost seem pointless to most players because they're all the way back in the spawn. But a lot of these players know you can take that up there and use it to your advantage, getting angles on jail that you can't normally get. He's going back up again, it seems. Trying to I mean, see maybe, yeah. maybe if they forgot all about they're it. They're out of options, really. I mean, what else can they really do to sort of, sort of look for these sneak shots? He can even hit somebody that's sitting on the line if it they did a, happen to be there. It is a beautiful and I almost angle. don't want to leave, uh, but we're trying to check on what else is happening. I, I, I'd really be surprised if, if they allow themselves to get shot again. He is moving through jail, so there is an opportunity to still pick up a kill here. As another long shot traded, and you know Kyle knows, even though he has right hand advantage there, uh, this could get a little bit dangerous. Oh, they, they had their eyes on him, it seems, almost the whole time. Boom was right there looking at him, possibly making the call out, letting him know he was on the stairs. Uh, maybe even that move towards jail there was just enough to rile him up, but I can't imagine that they were trying to uh, to trick him there. And now Dispensa, uh, spotting explosive, make a run for that uh, boom shot. He's able to get him down. I think that that was uh, their second attempt there for a boom shot. I don't know that they have a way to kill him. Uh at this time so they don't have any explosiveness it could be kyle trying to set up a snipe shot when he respawns but he oh just get out. gets out of it i am surprised they weren't able to take him out with the snipe shot but kyle didn't look like he was in the right position for that cleanup very good job at it and i'll recognize that they have enough time to pick up more uh power weapons you know just get all the tools they need to secure this round 
Uh, and it's really going to come down to maybe a shotgun hold uh, by Demo and uh, Dispensa here. Kyle might try to you know look for a desperation shot in the back. I believe he's still toward the back of the stairs. Here he is. Yeah, and that's the thing about this map. Oh, it looks like Lava there, there with a down uh, on Dispensa. Now Kyle getting it down on Lava. Kenny Bounce getting Dispensa with a headshot. Uh, Lava getting taken out as well. Demo Bounce getting taken out as well. We're in a one on three here. Uh, Kyle is at the big disadvantage here. He was in, there with Spawn. He's got that sniper and he's taken out with that up bay there. Woo. By explosives, denial taking the second map. Taking a look at the stats right there. Mental going big with 1100 MVP of that match. Uh, Dispenser, like I said, man, he was doing absolute work on that line, uh, and, and they were really up, up in the initial in the initial fight there. Uh, they had, you know, they had this map. Yeah, but, that's what. They just like just like the first map, they had it locked. Denial fought back, but they held them off. weren't able to do it on this one. I was, and you know that they were probably going to turn it all the way around yeah. if he was able to hit that headshot. Kyle was able to oh, hit that headshot God. from the spawn. I think he was going to turn the whole game yeah. around, honestly. It would have been an uphill battle still. They didn't have, They still had the boom shot. Lava still had boom. No. But like you said, I mean, you know, that, that, that would have been a huge game changer. Uh, yeah. For sure, giving him that chance. That's the great thing about Clock Tower. It, it makes that map so unique. Uh, it's one of the few maps that spawn is not uh, a death sentence. Right. Not, a, not basically putting yourself in a casket. You guys have a lot of different areas there. Even though there's only one way out, there's a lot of pillars. There's even the trench uh, that you can see uh, yeah. with the giant wall. You can shoot underneath. You can get that giant snipe spot all the way in the yeah. back uh, of, uh, of, the, of the spawn, all the way up in the stairs you saw. There's sandbags throughout spawn. There are a lot of different places for cover. So if you have three teammates back there, you can make work, uh, kind of hold them off uh, you know, the best you can. Uh, unfortunately, there wasn't, the, wasn't to be. And now we're all tied up at one. Tied up at one to one, guys. The next map is going to be Mansion. Uh, this is a best of five series here. The finals, uh, we've got Denial versus Dream Team. Uh, so we're heading to Mansion. We're going to see a lot of brawls outside. Maybe see some two, two inside guys, those unfamiliar. Uh, most of it, although, I don't know, 75% of the map is this giant structure. But we see the fight happen outdoors where, where the boom shot is. Yeah, and... It's funny because last week when I was doing the qualifier, something that you never see in competitive gear is a strategy yeah. of people going in mm -hmm. and holding the upstairs on the inside right. with the sniper. I saw that from a couple of teams. Yeah. It was very interesting. And it, they were trying it against teams, for example, like Denial. Right. Teams that are so effective outside. Kind of when they're backed up and they, can't, they don't have any more rounds to give, they're yeah. going to try something absolutely out of the box. Make them push in. The problem is, if you do that, if you do a basic ranked match strategy where you're just going to hold the sniper on the inside, you can just let your team or your opponents outside in that courtyard and just keep grabbing boom shots until yeah, they're absolutely. all overstocked, push in uh, from any direction, and uh, it's pretty much not much you're going to be able no, to fight I mean, off Even with. getting inside, uh, you know, being able to push that with the, with the nades and, and the booms, yep. uh, you're sort of guaranteed loss. It's very unlikely that you're going to clutch some headshots. Yeah. One of the first Gears of War 1 lands I went to, uh, one of the strategies we saw out of the, the local teams uh, it was in like Long Island, and, and they would just go inside, so we ended <laughs> up getting a chant going, Secure the mansion! Don't get boom! Don't get boom! Secure the mansion! <laughs> And that was the strat. It was hilarious, but uh, it doesn't work, guys. It just does not work. Yeah. So here we go. We're going to see what sort of strategies we see out here. It looks like 3-1 coming out of denial. That's the basic strat. Uh, you, normally four outside, but you'll always see that one guy pushing through the nades on middle, especially if you're on good side, where you can get there just a tad faster. Demo pushing all the way over to the side of denial, getting aggressive here. Lava was able to get a, a kill there. Explosive with a down. Uh, Denial now uh, losing Kenny, uh, but Explosive and Lava able to get their respective kills. Icy taking oh out Explosives, God. and now we're in an intense one-on-one -on -one here. This is what I love about Mansion. Absolute oh. carnage the whole time. Lava had an opportunity if he hit the side of the entrance, but didn't want to uh, you know, waste the boom. Uh, if he can use those two booms in succession and, and really just guarantee. There oh. goes Juan looking to try and get the headshot with it. Uh, now Icy has, has a long shot. Uh, we're in a legitimate 1v1 situation here. That dresser was taking one for the team. It, it absorbed the boom shot there while the Red Icy was able to pick up that boom, or the, excuse me, that sniper. Uh, he, he, he was lucky that that was there because he was just going to get taken out in the midst of that pickup. I don't even think he knew he was getting looked at with that boom because uh, he didn't slide it. So 
just put his guard down just long enough, but uh, the cover was there to help him. And now it looks like they're each trying to outsmart each yeah. other. Lava is trying to make a move here. Uh, looks like they're on opposite sides of the map. Though. We're going to see a lot of dancing in this 1v1 situation. Typically, it comes down to a little bit of rotating uh, as you has your, have your teammates able to look at the cameras and, and identify where it is. Icy doesn't want to get in a situation Ooh. where he can get you know in, in Lava's vision right here with the boom. He, he's trying to split him up so he can get out and set up for next boom shot spawn. What I see, you know, basically has to do is not let Lava restock. So he wants to see if he can get, you know, an easy shot. So I think Lava might try to do a little bit of a bait here, get positioning, which he does, and he's in great positioning here, and, and he's in a good position uh, to mm -hmm. grab these next booms if Icy doesn't move up. And something that you have to realize is if you have the boom with even uh, with shots, without shots, whatever, as long as you have the boom shot. Once the ammo comes back and you acquire it, that doesn't show up on the feed. So sometimes people, it's out of sight, out of yep. mind, they don't even realize that the person alive has the boom shot because it's not shown on the map anytime that they no, get, that's a great point. get ammo. Something that you have to do uh, you know, with your team is, is sort of give each other roles when you're dead. Hey, one person, keep your eye on him. Tell me everything he does. He has a long shot out. He has a boom out. He, you know, he has a shotgun out. Um, he picked up ammo. If you don't have somebody that's dead dedicated to watching him you could miss valuable information and lava looks like he's gonna he has his nades out if i'm not mistaken he had boom and also opted to drop a shotgun for a sniper uh which is a very interesting strategy i'm gonna confirm that and see if he switches weapons uh but no it actually does look like he has sniper and boom two he's going power weapons here. mode right now this is amazing he also has the nades yeah, only thing missing is a bolt talk right now we gotta find one Let's see what's going to happen here. These guys just keep circling each other back. I'm wondering if Icy's going to spot Lava here. Oh, this is getting intense. They're getting closer as I mean, time's running out. And Lava trying to make a throw here. Every time one decides to make a move where one of them is hiding, they uh, they end up separating again. Uh, e whether that be because they want to create separation yeah. or because uh, they're just uh, moving at the complete wrong time and don't even know where each other uh, are right now. I think this is really Dream Team saying, hey, uh, th this, is a w this is a win for us. He has boom. So unless you can get some crazy clutch headshot, keep your distance. Don't let Lava get close enough where he can uh, you know, punish you with the explosive explosive uh, power weapons that he has i mean icy could get a pop shot on a long distance here it's almost as if like lava's chasing him right now oh, here comes here comes a nade. i think lava might know where he is nice. oh icy looks like he just got in that door yeah that was a great attempt at a nade there by lava but icy's running we're going to a draw here uh these guys were not able to settle this score right now they were just being as careful as possible right and we saw 10 seconds of absolute bloodbath and then we saw three minutes of uh Tom and Jerry, so it was <laughs> exactly. interesting play on. That's what happens sometimes on Mansion. We get those one v ones, and look, both Icy and Lava, uh, you know, coming up with two piece there, and we're gonna go on board with Mental heading inside for denial, uh, matching three v one out of both teams. They're gonna, he's gonna shoot up some of that explodable cover so he can uh, get as much damage as he can. Demo getting it down in mid map again, as Kyle's gonna clean it up on Lava. And there's a, there's a fight here over at the boom shot. Demo looking to connect. He is full red. Damn. Is he going to be able to take one with him before he goes down? Oh. Kenny says no, not today. Going to shut it down. And now we're in a 3v2 situation uh, for denial. Yeah, Mental had the exact same idea as his opponent there. Once they went into the house, they both sat at the bar area waiting with their lancers and shooting each other, waiting for the, uh, the other one to make that push through. They both had the same idea, waiting for that push. And uh, they were in a bit of a stalemate there. Uh, might have been the reason why Mental's still alive. And you're seeing Explosive using that boom to his advantage the best he can, picking up back-to-back -back kills. Denial taking the first round win on Mansion. Absolutely awesome to see that there from Explosive. Doing great job landing those rockets as the teams uh, were focused and firing. And we're heading into uh, round three here. We'll stay on board with Explosive. Uh, they've been doing uh, pretty good work over at the boom side. Definitely clutched up there uh, in the middle of the round, taking out Demo. And here he goes, got an active reload, trying to help his teammate over at Boom, looking oh, to connect, man. gets the down, Two downs. going for the revive, shots one, oh. Kyle puts one in the belly of Explosive, Demo connects with a nice slide shot, punishing that player mid-map, and again, bouncing around, doing what he does best, 
three v no one. <laughs> that was very fast. The, the thing about Mansion is you're going to see rounds where yeah. they take the entire ma maximum amount of time. They go to draws when you get a lot of those one on one stalemates, and then you have rounds like this where both teams crash head on and only one or two men are left standing. Right. In this case, you got a few members still of Dream Team here pulling out that victory. No, still similar setup, 3-1 inside. The Both teams not, not uh, favoring to change it up at all. Looks like, though, playing a little bit soft is Denial they over the boom. boom. They must be trying to take advantage of something else happening. Kyle already got a kill with the boom, taking out Lava, the team leader of Denial. And now Mental getting the down end kill on Icy. We're in a 3-on-3. Three -three. Kenny not in a good spot. Just making the boom Whoa. miss. Not able to get up AD. He actually gets it himself against Dispensa. Dispensa taken down by Explosives. And now looks like the Dream Team is chasing one of the members of Denial out here into the spawn he is backed up into the pillars he is stuck and he Yo, gets headshot by kyle. kyle and kyle shutting it down on explosives mental the only man left he has got to get inside the house now get in there mental see if he can hold his right hand try and get something if they're on full chase mode he might be able to take one and reset a little bit oh they know he's right there uh, if they have boom or any type of explosives, they're going to get him away from that door. Mental got smart. He backed up a little. He's got the armoire right there, uh, there that cover the to kind of watch him. He's got to make a move within the next three to five seconds because he is going to get smushed here. Yeah, and here he's going to say, hey, I got to go for this 1v1 before I get shot in the ass. And he's moving up. Oh, Mental my God. For it. He does get the down on demo. Completely embarrassed. Oh, my God. And he's looking to clutch up here. Go oh over two. No, oh he's going oh for the triple oh kill. No. Mental... Doing work! Getting the three members down of Dream Team. That down lured them into the trap, and they weren't able to get the best of them in the bar area. Absolutely disgusting by Mental, and very disappointing by Dream Team there. The timing was impeccable. Mental could wow. not have, have ditched his position and hunted down Demo any bit more timely than that. We're going to be watching that clip again this week. Mental is just next level when it comes to game psychology and knowing what his teammates are going to do before they do. Lava getting the push here on Kyle on wall, boom. Explosive getting a one shot with his Nasher there. And Icy gets killed, taken out by Kenny. Three or four on one situation. Very aggressive plays oh by God. Denial. It's right. tough, man. It's tough when after that previous round, you know, they, 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 they're probably still salty over it. Uh, I know yep. I am. So. That's one of those things, like we said <laughs> earlier uh, on our last game. When you guys lose a round, yeah. no matter what happens, you got to just put it behind you immediately. The rounds are so fast. They're so they're so successive that you have to make sure you're just focusing on what's coming next. And you got to believe they were still hung up about that, that yeah. triple kill there, that by Denial's mental. There we go. Quick down. There we go, out of uh, Kenny and Lava doing some doing some serious work over there. Dispensa answering, uh, but not enough as as we have one member left. Icy uh, gonna try and see if he can do oh, something no. here. He's full red from Boom Shot, I believe. He's getting uh, snapped in the side there, and that's gonna be it. So disappointing for Dream Team there. They had a very wow. strong. Uh, they were holding their ground uh, until that one v three happened. Mental going absolutely off on them. He could not have made the better move, like you said. He no, was waiting was at the perfect, perfect time, time, pushed back, and the smart thing to do, you have those two guys at the front door. You have the one guy flanking you. He knew the flank was coming. He sensed it, and he pushed that one-on-one -on -one so effectively. And the craziest part yeah. was as he was pushing him, running full full bore into him, yeah. getting shot, he was four-pointed, right. and he, he made the moves at the right time, wall bouncing, getting an insane flick shot to down him in only two shots. I After know, he like, ate the two shots yeah. initially... And then they ran in immediately. He was able to get the perfect peek around the corner, right on the opposite side of the wall, getting the kill before they got the revive, throwing flawless off their game insanely. Flawless play. Uh, you know, just knowing it's one thing to try and land your shots when you're in the clutch mode. Like, yeah. we've all been there. It's like, I have to clutch up. Like, there's nothing else happening right now. Everything I can do, it comes down to not only landing your shots, but the awareness of where everybody is around you. Yes, definitely. He knew He knew he was getting flanked. And he, he turned around at the perfect time to give himself. Yeah, Demo could have downed him there, and that would have been it. Uh, but Mental still made the right heads-up play to give himself an opportunity to win the round. Again, guys, it's, yeah. it's never over. Yeah, that he ran up. He completely four-pointed. I thought he was going to get down from behind, right. but they... It looks like they might have made the push in just at the wrong time. I'm sure that you saw the call out by Demo, or they heard the call out by Demo. He just pushed in just a tad too late there. We said they were going to sandwich him, but he said no to that and yeah. made his own play happen out of it rather than waiting for them to make their move. I'm trying to think of a better way that, uh, you know, 
Dream Team could have executed that. Now, if you think about the way that they did it, if Demo went upstairs, would that have been would that have been better? If if Demo had gone upstairs to sort of maybe just lancer fire, um, we may have seen we may have seen Mental escape through the bottom, and then you know they would have tried to trap him later. But you really just have to give credit to Mental for for hitting that. I mean, I felt like Dream Team was setting up to do everything correctly on that round. So again, we're gonna see that. That ma- that one again. That was awesome, and, and we're still talking about it a few rounds later. I think, just trying to break it down, like right. I think if you're in such of a situation like that, uh, you know, as we were saying, when you're in a one-on-three situation, you know, you have, for example, a spot like uh, Gridlock, the right. Hammerverse Tower, almost a death sentence when you're right, right there. Right. There's not many places you can go. You're trapped one way in, one way out. You have the you have uh, you have something like a uh, clock tower. You know, you have the spawn area there. A lot of different areas where you can hide, make angles, and pop up and everything. So uh, you have a lot more chances. In this one, there's not really much you can do, uh, you know, when you're playing on Mansion. So uh, staying in spawn is definitely not the best thing to do since there's nothing but open space. Yeah. So when you have a lot of the people, like, in one-on-ones just circling constantly around the map, and then you have a guy like, say, Mental, who's waiting on the inside of the round. When yeah. you're in a clutch situational Mansion... You you're not going to survive being outside. Everybody who's left, if they have uh, more than one person left, right. they're going to make sure that they cover the outside where the nades and the boom spawn. Yeah, it should have been an easy round for yeah. them. Somehow, some way, uh, <laughs> mental made the best play possible in between when they were able right. to get the boom. Right. The best thing to do there, instead of maybe get a little overzealous, thinking they can make the save, uh, maybe doubling back after losing that player. Yeah. Keeping their strength in numbers that's and getting that boom shot. That's a good point. Uh, but they probably saw that they were able to get the revive. Right. And like I said, mental around that corner, they didn't see him. They might have thought he booked it. Uh, that's true too. But he held his ground and he he put up last end and he made it happen. Yeah, and, and Demo may have been there like, yo, he's weak. Like I hit him, he's weak. Commit, like finish him. You know yep. what I mean? So you got you got that pressure from your team. To, yep. But I mean, this just shows the power of right hand advantage because he was able to get there and you're almost invincible in that Absurd. position. Oh yeah. Uh, so we are heading to War Machine on the next map, guys. This is a best of five. Uh, Denial is up two to one versus Dream Team here in the finals of uh, today's MLG uh, uh, qualifier. And I uh, still got semifinals up on on the screen here, but this is indeed the finals. Going into War Machine next. Uh, this is one of my favorite maps to watch competitively because I am not good myself competitively on it, and I always like to see all of the different plays that uh, the, these teams bring to the table, because this map probably, arguably has, uh, if, if I could say, oh, yeah. the most angles you can take sure. on this map. There are so many different plays, yep. probably a thousand and one different plays that you can make on this map. It's, I think it's a, you know, it, it does have the most strats that you can come out with on this map. Uh, not only because it's spread out, like in this, you know, the, the long way that it is, but um, you may favor the long shot. You may favor the torque. You may favor yep. the troika. Sometimes, uh, honestly, you get you know you get your front spawn guy to just beeline to troika. Yeah. Sometimes that goes unnoticed, and you get that kill right away. Yeah. Uh, or just beeline and flank all the way. So there are so many possibilities. Like you said, War Machine has the most angles and and the most just base strats that you can really come out with. And there's always that initial thought by the teams that weren't smart enough or weren't you know. Uh, stealthy enough to get out to Troika without anybody noticing. They always say the same thing. Did I just get killed by Troika? Right. And then they realize now that they have to put their mental effort into right. worrying about that the rest That's, of the map. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but the best part is, uh, on that first round, when the team spawn, if somebody runs to the Troika, gets a couple kills, more often than not, you won't see somebody do the exact same thing, but you will yeah. see somebody go up there to watch their opponents most likely try to either do the same thing or... They're, they're going to try to watch for the guy doing the same thing again. But you don't see a lot of people going back-to-back to, back to yeah. Troika since no one's going to try to let that mistake right. happen no, twice. That's a great point. Like The fact that you put that in your opponent's head is has them just having to worry about it for the rest of the match. So it's a great idea to come out with something in round one, show it, hey, this is something that we may do, and you have to respect that for the rest of the game, oh, yeah. and then just never do it again. And yeah. there's, there's that type of strategic meta in Gears when you, when you go into a map uh, what's really beneficial is after you practice and get your base down is say, hey, round one we're doing this, round two we're doing this, round three we're doing this, round four we're doing this. Already have those four strats defined. 
That way, from there, you can sort of manipulate and say, hey, this kind of worked out. We see what they're doing. We can change what we're doing. Yeah. But if you can sort of lay down your first four and show different things to your opponent right away, you really just keep them guessing and you stay like one one strat ahead, one, one move ahead basically in chess yeah. uh, if you want to relate it to that. So anyway, as we are talking about that, War Machine is the map that we may see the most of that sort of metagame elements come into. Uh, this is a map point for Denial up 2-1 in the finals today for the uh, MLG Open Qualifier. Trying to lock up as many points as they can heading to Columbus next month. Not to sound biased, but I really want to see Dream Team pull this one off. I want to go to a fifth map here. I think this is going to be intense uh, coming down to this one. Although, depending on what teams uh, are on War Machine, you got to kind of figure out what is going to be the most favored power weapon. Is it going to be Troika, or not Troika, Torpo, or is it going to be the Sniper? Uh, in this sense, looks like we're going to have one in mid-boxes as per usual. Kyle taking window spot. Denial watching up spot, uh, upstairs where the Troika is. Doesn't look yeah. like anybody made that aggressive push to it. Though. And he has frags up there. I believe both, um, team, well, both teams did pick up frags. I think they both brought them up. And here's a little bit of a cluster uh, of Dream <laughs> Team trying to get out. Don't want to get uh, double naded there. Lava still has frags. I haven't seen any go off yet. Kenny landing some great shots. They might be able to pick up a down uh, over here. Trying to bail out his teammate as we've still got a 4v4 situation and a base setup from everybody. And I love seeing this on every map, uh, any given map. When the teams start off, there is not kills right off the bat. There is uh, positioning and everybody right. trying to outthink uh, who, they're, who they have their eyes on and trying to watch their own backs and everybody just in this chess match right now. As you can see, Kenny getting an amazing angle, but at the same time, looks like he was getting and shot here right we go. Back. Here comes a nade out of Icy on the opposite wall looking to connect. Does not, but wow. a very well-placed nade. Uh, was they able to gain any positional advantage? No. So there goes one uh, one of their tools. Oh. And Kyle, Kyle getting it down on Mental there at Snipe Sandbag. And here comes the push. We're going to see uh, possibly first blood drawn here. Mental holding down the L bag. They Looking had a chance. Something, nothing. We're still uh, exchanging uh, a lot of point damage here. Another down mid-map. Kenny's doing work, getting a lot of downs there. They had the chance to kill Mental there, uh, but it looks like uh, looks like there was a save. Uh, let's see if Kenny is going to be able to help oh, his man. teammate here at mid boxes. He's going to push all the way through, try to clean up that kill. He's four pointed himself, and Demo stops him <laughs> before he's able to get the kill. Wow, this is looking uh, quite bad for Demo right now. He needs to back up a little bit. Okay, he's good. All refreshed, and now getting aggressive on the other end. Lava able to get a kill. Demo land and sauce. They have a 2v1 situation here at Snipe, able to get the down. Explosive holding, holding the window in a bad situation. Trying to get an up A here. Shut down by Kyle. Great job. And we have one player left. It is Lava. He's able to slide that torque. Let's see if he can connect. Oh. Icy right at his feet. Able oh, to shut him down. We're man. seeing the dunk come out here. Great job winning that first round is Dream Team. And you saw that sandbag right there. Or that teabagging by Red Icy. He was showing that they're going to pull this one off. And they're not scared to go to a match point here with Denial. Yeah, really exciting round. We didn't really see anything unfold until about a minute as uh, Dispensa throws his ammo clip into his teammate's face. He's laying out some fire, uh, looking to get a quick smoke. And they're going to get aggressive here at the mid box, looking for the quick kill. Definitely zoning out the opponent. And Mental uh, putting in some shots. Lava oh. connecting with a frag grenade, putting his team up in advantage here early on this round of War Machine. Taking Dispensa out that early is really going to hurt. Dream Team, this is something that they, they, they're really going to have to need going uh, later into this round, depending how long it is, as he's one of the best shooters, best support players right now on their team. Uh, leaving them in this 4-on-3 uh, disadvantage here. Mental getting it down on Demo. Kyle's got to get out of there. He can't help him anymore. Stuck in a 4-on-3, but wow. makes a kill in the smoke. Can he get two, though? Keep it going, Kyle. He's looking to bounce around. Now he's full point, taking Lancer fire. Nice try. You need to connect there early. but That was either Lancer... Might have been Troika yeah. even getting some it's shots in there. Yeah, I, I was looking the at the full team left. I was looking at the angle there right. of those shots. Uh, somebody might have even got as as uh, bold enough to hop up there and try to do that. Uh, but either way, they were able to get that clean up there. We we're tied up one one here on War Machine. Icy going ahead and pick up frags. He's got to keep an eye on Lava, who was able to get that early frag kill last round. And that's going to be difficult to do with all that smoke. Uh, are we able to see where Lava is? See if he's tossed one yet. And he's up top, already getting matched. He does have frags in hand. And there it goes, heading over to the opposite side mid. What a that throw. That is a pretty nice frag. He's going to zone that player toward the torque bow. 
Icy looked like he was up top too, and he might be thrown in, so they gotta watch out for that. Lava was able to take out the Spencer first again. Demo bounce at mid boxes, shooting down there, land towards window, taking Kenny down. Uh, looks like Lava was able to get a down on Demo as well. Still this four on three. Mental four pointed now. He's in a one on two. Looks like he's getting some cover fire, but Kyle was able to pull around the sandbags and take him out. Explosive holding up top now, putting down some Lancer fire. Seeing how this round plays out, it's a three on three. There's a torque from Lava. Lava doing absolute work on this map right now. Looking for a oh second boy. one to connect. Woo! Does so with the double. One player remains here. It is Demo pinned. Uh, on this side of the map, he's going to do maybe some old school, try and clutch up in the spawn. No, he's looking for one here. He's in a bad he position, is. running up to the spawn. This is this is not where you want to be, but it's the only place you can be. He's just going to wow. make the push immediately. Not much he can do, and Explosive was able to get the final kill there. We have Denial now taking the lead up 2-1. to one. Lava is playing absolutely amazing. As you said, shutting down Dispensa uh, right now. He hit him with the frag the first time. I think Dispensa is playing mid. It looks like Icy uh, was going frag side. Let's take a look where Dispensa is actually going and see how he's just getting exposed right now. Two rounds. We're two rounds away from Denial taking this one. So whatever Dream Team has to do to prevent that, they're going to they're going to be as unique, as unorthodox as possible with these strategies. Wow. They're getting aggressive here as they're pushing through. Dispensa was able to take out Kenny. Lava kills himself with nades. That is, ins that is seriously going to help them. And right there it does. They finish this round in... I think that was the fastest round we've seen yet it here was. on War Machine. Definitely was. Wiping them out and making them... Uh, back up as much as possible and showing them they are not going to go down 3-1 not going to lay down easy they yeah, that was this. great that was absolute great uh, aggression you know you're down two to one uh just just push sometimes get get the numbers they sent three middle uh, able to catch them with their pants down sleeping and and they got them uh, able to secure that round so we're tied up two to two here explosive full red gonna have to sit down and, and chill recharge a little bit tossing his smoke to buy some time and is lava gonna be able to do some work with these nades again here he is uh, uh, moving up a little bit here, 4v4. And here comes one, guys. Wow, oh, Icy answering man. first. Let's see if Lava can connect with this one. Does not. So they are, uh, they are in an unfavorable situation uh, as he's going to post up on mid-box. Dream Team now tossing one over mid-box. Uh, looks like it was a little bit too far. Lava using that pistol. And uh, looks like Explosive was the one to help him out get Kyle down there. Uh, Kyle was reviving. Lava's about to go down. He's getting crossed now by Dispensa. And this is going to shake up their plans. Wow, now Mantle's down as well. This is not good. We have a four-on-one situation here. Uh, the remaining member, Explosive. They don't know where he is. Doesn't, no, they have no idea where he is. <laughs> this is a very, very, very good spot to be in. But not for long. He's going to have to make a move here. Uh, the trick is, is he going to be able to get one of them uh, separated? Yeah, it's going to be very difficult on a map like War Machine. Uh, you usually do end up up top when you're by yourself, and it really never works out. So Explosive may be able to hold this. Doesn't look like he has any shadows being exposed. Uh, all members of uh, Dream Team alive, so they're not going to be able to uh, do any sort of security cam rotations to find him. What they need to do is make sure nobody is traveling alone. Uh, now, you don't necessarily want to move in fours. You want to keep somebody in the middle of the map to provide as much vision as possible as we still see explosive chilling here. Now you're seeing. Uh, you, now what you're seeing here is Dream Team checking the blue spawn here. Uh, I'm not sure if that was the spawn that they uh, that Denial started off in this round, but the best thing you can do in uh, War Machine is if you were managed to sneak by your opponents and you're in a situation like this to get to their spawn, uh, which because it's really going to be the last spot that they check. Uh, yep. It looks like that they have finally decided <laughs> to check here, and we're going to see if Explosive can pull this off. Uh, they got oh, they right spotted there. him, and he is into desperation mode. Down he goes quickly. They were taking no chances there. Yeah, but he did you know, everything he could do there. So at Without least, a doubt. At least you got to try and hook up with a pillar, make friends with it for as many minutes as you need to, and, and, and see if you can make something happen. But we're one round away from forcing a map five in this finals. Let's see if Dream Team can close it out. This is really where Dream Team shows if they can not only hang with the big dogs, but remain there. Because they have this advantage. They have to prevent denial from winning two rounds. And all they got to do is pull one more off. If they can do this, we are going to see this map five and see what's going to go down here. But we have Kyle now taking down Mental. Explosive taking down Demo. Demo gets killed by Lava's nade. Kyle taking down Mental there. So in this three on three situation, Kyle with that snipe. Uh, Icy connects with the Torque. And they're going to be up three to two. Dispensa uh, pushing, pushing through this spawn. 
uh, with a teammate, buddying up. This is a, looking very good for Dream Team. They should not lose this round. They have it in the bag. There is plenty of time left. Explosive now gets spotted up there. So he's going to have to find his teammate. Denial's right there. Uh -oh. Lava's right next to him. Uh, looks like, he oh, stuck. he gets torqued, and that'll do for Explosive. We only have one guy remaining. Lava's got to make a, make a rush out of here now. Let's see if Team Captain Ford now can pull off the upset here and push this to a final round, but he can't. They down him across the map, and we are going to a final map in the finals. Map 5, guys. We're going to be seeing uh, where we're heading next, but that was an absolutely awesome dream team. Down 2-1. to one. Uh, able to just come out with that aggressive round that we saw through the mid, and since then they just looked unstoppable. Yeah, they they, they things just started clicking yeah, for them. They, they really, really they really uh, found their stride here. Uh, and denial uh, after winning two straight maps, uh, it looks like that now uh, this this is really anyone's game. I really don't know who is going to pull off this final map. Yeah, that was, that was exciting. So we saw uh, we saw the round seven out of gridlock. Where a dream team uh, took it out. Denial yep. round seven on Clock Tower won it. Denial with on the back of Mental on Mansion, uh, <laughs> just proving that that was their map in this series. Oh yeah. And I'm really impressed with with War Machine that uh, Dream Team did. They they did some really nice things. Uh, you know, threw some different types of strats in there. Uh, so it's it's insane. Yeah. Because to canals, I guess. War Machine, Denial, one of their best maps uh, right. as well. Uh, up there, so it, it's something to. It's interesting to see that th this didn't go, uh, you know, to to a round where uh, you you saw Dream Team at any big of a disadvantage there, uh, where they had to pull off a clutch. They seem to be in the driver's seat the whole time. Yeah, no, they really did. And uh, we are heading to uh, a map five, guys. Couple minutes here. I just got the invite. Uh, appreciate you guys retweeting uh, the stream, tweeting it out, sharing this. Uh, this is Immortal Spawn uh, with Trooper. And we are so pumped to be bringing this, uh, bringing this with you guys. First time we're dual commentating here. Uh, recently discovered we are neighbors, <laughs> and it's pretty awesome to uh, to be able to doing this with you, man. It's having, right. having a blast. So definitely, yeah, we are on canals for this, uh, for this last, for this last canals match in the series. For the I think final. we need to get some sort of, if it's not a let's go chant, if it's a one more year chant. I think it's a Gears 4 chant. I'm not sure what sort of chant we need going right now. I but. think everybody in the chat just type hype. Get everybody. Yep. Get in the zone here. We're going into this final map. Uh, who do you guys want to see? Let us know in the chat if you guys think Dream Team is going to be able to pull off this upset or Denial is going to stay at the top of that pedestal and keep their number one spot. Uh, this is something that uh, I really can't even make the call for right now. Uh, I was yeah, hoping that Dream not... Team came back here to make this as interesting as possible, and uh, they pretty much have uh, yeah, fulfilled that request. they did just that. They, uh, they were definitely listening to us and uh, all the viewers here uh, joining us with this awesome match so far. Uh, yeah, we are, we are going to be on Canal, so trying to th predict a little bit what we might see. Uh, we, we did see Canals earlier. Uh, where we saw Dream Team come out and really did, uh, again, some, some different things. We saw them push aggressive through the water mm -hmm. uh, one round. We saw them uh, favor high side. Um, I think it was Icy that was in charge of snipes, but they didn't really do a lot of a lot of long shot uh, strategies. Yeah, there wasn't too many opportunities for them. Uh, a lot of it was just run and gun and just uh, brute force uh, each meeting at that middle bridge. Uh, there was a couple of moments where... Uh, you know, they, they ended up uh, just kind of compiled up on that top end uh, n near the middle connectors, which uh, which is not really the best spot uh, since you have two ends of high side that are easily accessible from the canal where yeah. the torque spawns. You got that middle bridge with all that cover, um, and, and, it's all, and those nades spawn in the center of the bridge, so it's hard to make that push uh, if you're stuck with your teammates in that connector to the nades. Because uh, if you do, there could be one or two uh, people. Or even if you're dirty enough with the sniper, you can cap a guy while he's roading running down the bridge yeah. if you know exactly where to put that aimer. Yeah, and definitely. There's even some spots with the long shot that you can sort of hide and not even be seen by the opposing sniper. Uh, so uh, you know, being the long shot player, which is so awesome on this map, is is just a completely different role than other, you know, other mm -hmm. positions in this game. Um, you're able to practice with some of the shots. Like you said, hit the hit those really difficult bridge, uh, cross bridge. It almost becomes a mini battle when the rounds do slow down, and it's and it's yep. sniper versus sniper. Uh, but if we get to that, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty dope to see. Uh, we are kicking off on canals here, guys. Let's Switching over to the game feed. Uh, retweet the stream if you do, please. As we are heading into map five. Let's do it.
of the finals here. What I'm curious if anybody made a mention uh, who they think is going to take this one. Uh, looks like it's we got a couple people wanting Dream Team, a couple people wanting Denial. Uh, so nobody really has uh, has the guarantee here uh, as far as as far as the viewer vote. Uh, so going into this map, it's really going to be anybody's game. There's there are just too many different things that we might see from each of these teams uh dream team uh wondering if we're going to see very similar strategies as it did seem to work for them before uh earlier tonight so uh who knows who knows what we can uh what's gonna pop out here uh we might see i think i think on this first map you're going to see uh probably three low each side uh stick with that base base uh the basic strat of one guy each getting that sniper rifle yeah definitely well said as we're on board with Icy of Dream Team getting that quick hop up on the little stairs, cooking some actives on all the, the right times, and here we go. Uh, ready to brawl, starting to match up. He, we know he has the active, getting that first shot, He's taking stuck. some cover fire, able to do a little Ooh. bit of a juke. Lands one, gets down by his teammate, and there's a great focus fire. There's the revive. Icy back on his toes, and they're able to secure two early kills. There was no fight down middle, uh, down low side middle. They all went high. Two guys high, one each grab sniper. So that was a total of three guys going high side. Oh, and that nade right there, uh, just able to, uh, to scare the remaining member. That's mental. Uh, denial out of that position. He's got sniper, and if there's a somebody in this match that can pull off a one on three with the sniper, it's this guy right here. Yeah, absolutely, Tyler. As he's uh, looking up a little bit, he's going to be able to get crossed from the oh, top there. Very he close. A lot of the body shots. He doesn't run away. Back. He he gets he, he they he wants them to think that he ran, but yep. he goes back there to see if he can get one more shot, but he could not. Now stuck under the bridge. He's got an isolation one on one here. He misses the second shot, misses the third, and that is going to cost him as Icy comes from behind and he clean, helps clean up the kill here with the demo. Nice try by. Uh, by mental there, but even a, a better job by Dream Team coming out strong round one. That is huge on this map five of the finals. Uh, they were able to come out very aggressive up top. Uh, definitely love seeing that. And let's see how they switch it up here uh, on round two. And if I can make a, a little comment on that final play attempt there by mental, uh, I believe those two shots that he missed there were because of where he was uh, positioned. He had his back right against the wall next to the uh, the bridge at the bottom in the canal. And uh, his, uh, when he tried to strafe left, he got stuck on a wall. So I believe that's why he threw off his aim and he missed those two shots there. Now mental possibly going for a shot through the smoke, not able to get it, but Lava oh, just doing absolute work here and downing two members. Wow, but this is turning a little bit here in, in favor. Dream oh, Team man. Down there, mental gets one, explosive gets another, a demo chasing Ooh. this kill. Looking to pick up another. He's could be able to clutch up here. It's just oh, one he and demo does it. Wow. The last three down. Huge play by Demo securing the second round. Oh, Green my team. God. Demo going hard on that one. One of the members were down, and instead of going for the revive, they had two members left trying to take down Demo, and Demo downs one, turns around, focuses the one remaining man, and gets three easy downs right there. That was absolutely beautiful. Demo said, yo, there's somebody else in this match that can do it, and we just witnessed it there. Great job out of him. And we're uh, hopping into this next round. Is it's going to be a, a fight for mid bridge control? As Lava draws first blood on Icy, splatters him across the bridge. Lava getting the next down and Mental cleaning, Mental cleaning it up. Now four v two out of these guys. Great job so far. Yeah, that was pretty fast right there. We're now down to just Demo and Kyle here. Let's see uh, where they're going to regroup at here. Uh, they don't want to stick too too close together because of uh, things like the torpo and the nades that they have to worry about. I'm not sure if the torque is in the hands of anybody as of yet. Uh, looks like Explosive is going to be the one to rival Kyle with the sniper. Demo has a smoke trying to figure out where to put that uh, in the right position in case they have to make a last ditch effort here. Yeah, they're pressed back on this bridge. Oh, oh explosive catching Demo. He I was down believe in the, yeah, he's in the water. Believe that. Was he in the water or was he on the bridge? There. That was. That was something else there. He was able to catch him, and that is not what they were hoping for here. Uh, Denial easily able to take this one down, and Kyle, uh, that was uh, from the hands of Lava there. Mental yeah, getting the clean up. It was an uphill battle. Uh, Demo did have a frag. They were trying to just buy some time, bait them up a little bit. Uh, but, no, oh, great headshot there, uh, connecting and shutting that round down. Denial showing life uh, on this canals. As we see, a lot of su uh, support damage from Dispensa. Kenny's struggling a little bit to get going. Uh, let's go on board with him and, and see uh, see how he's going to play this next round. Let's see uh, where Kenny is going to be most useful here. Uh, going to be throwing smoke down on low side. They don't have a lot of uh, people contesting on low side. 
Uh, they just have somebody throwing a little backup. Little There's one of those nice nades I was talking about earlier tonight, tossing it straight down almost uh, below that bridge. Uh, not able to clean up a kill there, though. Yeah, and we saw Kenny still just watching water. He said, yo, I'm guarding Torque, but he hasn't really uh, been able... Uh, to oh, there's another nice That's snake. a great frag. That might get a stun off. Uh, Kyle still holding scopes. And here comes the push for the torque. Able to secure it. Kenny in the position he was to uh, shoot Lancer fire. There's one right behind him. Does not damage him, but it wasn't enough. Even if he got the down, they had two members there with a with a long shot support with, for the chain revive. If you had your 3D glasses on for that one right there, you saw a torque come right at your face. That almost was able to stick in there. And Justin wow. Abel right up in the middle of my sentence there. Kenny getting a huge headshot on Demo Bounce. And now Denial running through members here of, of Dream Team. Now Kyle, the last man left, unable to get the snipe shot. Wall bouncing, not much he can do. And Denial cleaning up that easy kill on the other side. We are all tied up at 2-2. Two to two. It can't get closer than this. No, it cannot. That was, uh, we were calling on Kenny to come through, and he drew first blood there. Opened it up for his team as we saw a massive brawl on mid-bridge. Uh, great job out of Denial, Tyler. We are heading to round five. Let's see if uh, let's see if Dream Team can bounce back. They, they came out strong with the, the first two rounds. There's a 2-2 split out of them. One of these teams might have just won their last round they're going to win. Uh, nice or, or we could potentially see one more from each of these teams and going to that uh, almighty round seven. And if we do, I won't be surprised if you see the round start like it is now where there is no uh, kills right off the bat. Those those two members of the Denial rushed over real quick. Uh, looks like even just to distract one of the members of Dream Team. And now two members of Dream Team holding down the top connector. Uh, Kenny with a missed torque shot uh, trying to help his teammate there, uh, which he does. But uh, after Demo goes down... Uh, down goes Kenny, and uh, luckily Kenny and Lava were able to help each other up there. And now we're in a three-on-three three situation. Kyle, oh, two kills coming out from the mid-bridge. He made a nice heads-up play to push onto them. Ooh. Wow, Icy shuts down Kenny right in his grill, taking off his skull. And we got one more player left. Mental looking to make something happen there. Dispensa shutting it down. Dream Team oh one my. round away from it being crowned uh, champs for today's qualifier match. And I jinxed it because as fast as I said, there was a three on three remaining. There was two kills really quickly by Elevate Kyle who just pulled things together there. Uh, just, just making things happen. The main focus right now uh, where everything is on the line at this moment in time. We, we only need one more round by Dream Team and they win this entire thing. Can Denial pull this back and get the clutch with two straight round victories? Yeah, I see with his teammate here. Sees an opportunity to grab the bow. The frags might come down and oh, no. in his toes. He slides to the corner. Wow. And he's able to get out of there. And Kyle with an awesome kill on explosive at the bottom of the bridge. Putting them up. A oh, man. This is looking very good for Dream Team. Three members of Denial left. That nade, I can't believe that nade wasn't able to take out the man who picked up Torque there. Uh, looks like Lava's got a nice angle here with Pistol. Anybody going to the high side there is going to run into that. So he's got that hold down out there. Uh, smoke's getting thrown everywhere. People that were saving it. Uh, oh, and Mental just missing that shot right there on the pop-up. That really would have helped Denial. Let's see if they're going to be able to even things up here. Uh, as there's now a push happening in the canal. Everyone's getting a little bit of eager, uh, eager here. Yeah, Mental uh, opting to relocate, get with his teammates. As he's getting flooded, but he was in a good position to get a shot off. They're going to need to share this barricade or Mental's in trouble. He's going to back out a little bit. Great move by Mental there. Instead of trying to double down on cover, he, he was just getting out of there. Uh, was able to revive himself uh, by not getting shot there and get a little bit more distance. Um, but amazingly, amazingly, you didn't see any push there from Dream Team uh, where he left his teammate on the bridge. Uh, they were playing it safe. Uh, seeing that they have this man advantage, they do not want to take any chances that they don't have to. Trying to follow the action here as it uh, looks like they've relocated again. We're in a 3v4. Oh, Kenny boy. Getting nice down. Is he able to secure it? He does. Tying this match 3-3 three to three on this round. Kenny. Oh, Kenny might have a push coming up here, and he does. He's got to fight somebody. Denial takes out Demo. Dispensa takes out Kenny. We're on a 2 versus 2 situation here. Lava with the slide. Doing the moonwalk slide there. Get the snipe. And as wow. he's getting crossed, we're going to see his teammate make the push and scare him off. Somebody's got Torque Bow, it seems now, uh, if I'm not mistaken. There, there's a lot Looks of madness like happening on with this 2v2. And now one-on-one. Oh, oh, and make that a two-on-one. Dispense is not able to hang. And now we have Just Red Icy here. <laughs> if, he is pull if he pulls off this two-on-one clutch, Dream Team wins the entire tournament. 
Let's see what is going to happen here. This would be the clutch of the tournament if he were to... They're, uh, they're trying to race into the other side of the oh, map yeah. there. They know where he's going. He wants that sniper. Woo! They missed the shot, and he drops the torque for that sniper, the one gun that he is going to do the most damage with. He's going to make a push down as he knows the sniper was still at middle bridge. He does have that one-on-one, -on -one, but uh, if he makes the push, he is not going to be in a good spot uh, as looks like one of the remaining members of Denial is at the bottom of the stairs just waiting for him oh, to make, him, make a mistake. He misses Lava as he was looking for that shot. He's going to back up a little bit. Lava meeting up with Mental making sure that they don't get caught out. But Icy has a sniper. He is alive and well in this 2v1. There's a oh very boy. nice, uh, well-placed nade to zone him out. But again, doing a great job by uh, getting himself out of there. And now they're going to force him right into the fight. And he's not going to be able to hang. We're going to a round number seven. Round seven, guys. Map five. Let's see some hype in the chat right now. Who will be your qualifier champion of the day? It has been back and forth this whole series. Lava and Mental playing it flawlessly, executing that 2v1, making sure that they did not get clutched on by Icy. And uh, let's see if, if Dream Team maybe gets aggressive up top. They did it round one and it worked well, but this is what they've been doing, this 2v2, uh, this 2v2 strat a lot. Yeah, and it seems like now they have a bonus guy down low here uh, with three men. And Explosive now, uh, as he, it looks like he is rushing all the way down into the canal uh, trying to help his teammates with the backup. And unbelievable! Dream Team is going crazy here, taking out two members of Denial. And now they are pushed back into the canal. Not in a good position here. And Kenny is four pointed down. He goes, and we're in a one on four. And Icy with the headshot. And Dream Team pulls off the victory, knocking off Denial four to three. Absolutely incredible games. Congratulations to Dream Team and Denial. That was insane. Insane. That was something Canals. else. Let's get the last few seconds looking at the stat board, guys. Huge numbers out of a lot of these players. Look how consistent the numbers were out of Dream Team, though. Nobody nobody really uh, came up short. They, they really did uh, put on an awesome show there, uh, working together. And, wow, that last round, they really shine on mid-bridge. Kyle was doing some amazing things there. And... Uh, Icy popping off that pistol headshot for the final blow. Oh, yeah. Amazing games, guys. I don't know what strategy that Denial was trying to pull off there, right. but it just it collapsed left. immediately yeah. as soon as they began. Uh, it, it was something that I didn't expect to see. Uh, I, I really didn't think that round was going to end so, so swiftly. No, that was a fast round seven. I mean, sometimes <laughs> you see these guys sort of slow things down, and, and they were ready to bang. I mean, they sent three to bottom bridge, uh, yep. Denial. Uh, you know, I felt like they were just a little bit slower on Dream Team's pushes. Dream Team had a set goal to either take mid-bridge or we're going to do this and grab Torque. And uh, they're just like a little bit faster uh, to, to their smaller objectives at the start of the round. Uh, but it came down to round seven, so it's not like Denial, you know, played it bad at all. They, they came wow. out with some great strats on their own. And uh, as close as that was, it's going to be Dream Team that edges it out, uh, edges it out today. So that's awesome. Uh, just, just uh, impressive uh, display by everybody. Uh, it, it very, very refreshing to see somebody able to get the best of denial for once here. Uh, especially Dream Team, just placing their stamp, winning that first map, and then two straight maps by denial. It yeah. didn't really. It looked, uh, it looked like just the same old denial was going to just. Uh, you know, maybe take a second to get uh, to get uh, in the zone and then just steamroll the next three maps. Right. But Dream Team just coming out and pulling off the, the upset, as you could say here. Uh, they, they made every single moment they, they had an opportunity to, to make a game-changing play. Yep. They really made it happen. No, we saw some amazing clutches out of these guys. Yeah. I want to thank all the players and teams that uh, allowed myself and, and Tyler to cast these games. Thank you guys uh, for watching. Uh, this was exciting. We're going to do more of these. Make sure uh, you follow the stream for more casts uh, from Tyler and I. Check out uh, his Twitch at Super Trooper. Uh, uh, my YouTube at yeah. SuperTrooper.tv. Yep. Twitch at Twitch.tv slash Totesdurf. D-U-R-F. Yeah, we'll be making some dual content over on your stream too. Uh, for sure. And this was a blast, guys. So thank you very much for tuning in. Make sure you guys uh, check back next week for this event. Uh, whoever may be broadcasting it and even the players every Saturday. Uh, there's going to be one more of these qualifiers for the big tournament. Uh, MLG's uh, open at the arena in Columbus uh, yep. the end of July. Uh, you're going to see the best Gears of War teams in the nation uh, heading there to compete for the last Gears of War Ultimate Edition tournament before Gears of War 4 drops. 
I'm going to miss it, but yeah. we're, we're going on to bigger and better things as well. Uh, Ultimate Edition, one of my favorite games. Uh, bread and butter, Gears 1 style gameplay on the next gen consoles. But we're moving into the future with Gears of War 4, and I'm so excited to see, especially with all the new competitive game types that they're going to be right. bringing in, uh, all of the different styles and, uh, and different teams that we're going to be seeing uh, in the months to come. Yeah, looking forward so. to Escalation and everything the Coalition's done with this new esports mode for us. For sure. But it's going to be Gears Ultimate Edition <laughs> for the next month, so again, check back... Uh, uh, check the MLG ladder. Make sure you're watching these guys, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you very much for tuning in.